Hello YouTube, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Yes, it's me, it's Dominoid. I'm back. I've got a swanky new set and I'm very sorry for neglecting you for so long. It won't happen again. Probably will actually, but I'll try not to. Anyway, I've got something nice for you today. I have got another video review. It's another excitingly retro themed review, so I've got a nice themed retro mug. So sit back, enjoy yourselves a nice cup of tea, and see what I've got for you this week. So this week, what have I got for you? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some items that were once in a box. I'm going to make them no longer be in that box, and in fact be out of the box. That's something I don't believe anybody else is doing on YouTube at the moment. So what have I got? unbox for you this week. Well, I have got this. It is a Z-Box. It is produced by the online entertainment company Zavi. Uh, I'm pretty sure most people are calling these Z-Boxes, but I'm British. doesn't work that way. Um, it's a nice sealed box. It's a blind box. I don't know what's inside it, but I do know the theme, and the theme is retro. So I got very excited when I saw this. Uh, I think last month's was zombies or something like that, and uh, zombies are good, but they're not as good as uh, old things. Um, so, handy out of shot pen knife. I'm going to open it up and not waste any time in letting you know what we have. So, this is as exciting for me as it is for you. I've got no idea what's in here. So, first of all, oh, now that, that's a good start. Look at that. We've got a. a very multiple oh hang on i've only just noticed see i thought we just had a sonic themed box here so we've got sonic down here we've got a silhouette of uh, what i thought was knuckles but actually on closer inspection it might be the guy from dig dug uh we've got one of the pac-man ghosts here and we've got a pac-man moon which is quite frankly my favorite kind of moon so uh, yeah very good um nice little touch so what have we got in the box well let's start with Haha, <laughs> retro sweets. We have a flump. Um, and I quite like flumps. Now, you might not get these in uh, in your neck of the woods, so if you don't remember these, these are a marshmallow sweet that was very common in England. Um, it is, here we are, see, we've basically got a twisty marshmallow. Um, and the reason I quite like these is because you can use them as, uh, as a little fake moustache, or you can pretend to smoke them like a cigar. Mmm. Malolicious. Mm. Um, it's uh, just a generic marshmallow, as you'd expect. It tastes like a marshmallow. Um, it's a fluffy mallow twist, according to the label. And uh, it's from formerly Barrett, but it doesn't tell you who they are now. Or oh, Candyland. Well, that's, that's lovely. And, and the packaging proudly proclaims, not sure if you can see it there, it is fat-free which is probably because it's entirely sugar. Um, but there we go, so that, that's nice, that's a nice start. It's always good to have something to eat. Um, what have we got? Oh, it's just like Christmas. I've got a pair of socks! But uh, not just any socks, these are Sonic the Hedgehog socks. Now in case you haven't noticed, I am quite a bit of a Sonic fan. I do quite like him. Um, he's very cute. I have specific tastes. I don't like new Sonic. Okay, yep, that's, that's my thing. I like old-fashioned chubby Sonic and if you have a look he is chubby Sonic you can tickle his belly and that's to me the best Sonic I'm gonna need this pen knife again to extract aforementioned socks for you please stand by for technical problems oh this is cool it's like one of the original uh, the original Green Hill zones with the orange and black um, we've got our little green area. There's not actually Sonic on these socks. There's a, a distinct lack of Sonic on my Sonic socks, but I'm quite cool. I, I quite like these. I think I could wear these to work and get away with it as just being slightly jazzy socks. So yeah, I like that. Very happy with that. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got a few things. We have got, haha, -ha, it's my favourite thing ever. It's Pac-Man. And look, it is a Pac-Man ghost. Ghost Pixel Bricks. Instruction manual included in case you don't know how to put bricks on top of each other. 
Uh, contents 247 pixel bricks to make your own ghost. Well, not your own ghost. I mean, my own ghost would probably look like me. Uh, I, I assume that means a ghost that I own. Uh, it's made by Paladone, who make pretty much everything that goes into all of these boxes. Uh, and, yeah, it's um, it's got a lot of bricks. Uh, so let's... Open. Wow, look at that. that oh, and I've dropped something already. I've dropped a little yellow thing. I don't think that's part of it. I think that's just a bit of the packaging. But look at that. That is quite a lot of bricks. Um, I'm not going to build this in real time. I think that would probably be quite dull. So I think what's going to happen here is what we call in the trade a jump cut. So if anyone ever tells you that uh, it's a good idea to build a, a 247 piece tiny Lego figurine tell them to fuck off because it's not so the first problem with uh, our 247 piece uh, tiny Lego thing is um, it's 247 tiny little bit I mean I'll give you an idea of how small but this is this is how small the piece are. I mean I know I have giant hands, but these things are tiny. You you could choke most small children with these. Now, fortunately, I don't have a small child to choke, uh, but I shall borrow one from a friend and see what happens with these. Um, they give you lots of spare pieces, which is very handy. Thank you for that, Pardon, because what happened when I opened the pack was they exploded all over the place, and I spent a good 10 minutes collecting them up, counting the bits, finding I didn't have enough, and then crawling around on the floor again. Um, but after I finished, um, actually, it's it's quite nice. It's a nice little tool. Oh, almost dropped it and smashed it into pieces, then I would have cried. Yeah, it's it's quite a nice little thing. It's, uh, it does look like a Pac-Man ghost. It's got a very nice kind of 8-bit feel from the fact that it's made out of blocks. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. It's um, pain in the ass to put together. Um, in fact, the amount of time it took, I think my tea's gone cold. Hmm. It has, never mind. Ugh, cold tea. It's uh, the stuff of the devil. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? So, what else do we have in the... Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh yes, I'm excited by this. Um, yeah, the, the greatest console ever made was, of course, the Sega Mega Drive. For the benefit of Americans watching, that, of course, is what you would know as the Genesis. Um, you are wrong, it is the Mega Drive, but it's how you would know it. Um, here we go. People used to amuse themselves with just a pad and a pen. How on earth did they cope? At least this one pays tribute to great gaming. Well done, you! And, uh, yeah, well done, Numskull. It's a... Uh, a very nice Mega Drive console notebook. It seems to have the official Sega Mega Drive logo on it. So I think this might actually be officially licensed merchandise. Um, look at that, that's really nice. See, the back has got, I don't know if you can see that there, it's got all the, uh, the air vents in the right place and the screw holes. Um, the front, it's got everything as it should be. This is the original Mega Drive model, the Mega Drive 1. The Mega Drive 2 that came later had red buttons. That's got a very nice Mega Drive logo on the inside and then as you'd expect inside it is it's just a notepad. Um, but yeah you can never have too many notepads. Um, so when I'm bored in a meeting at work uh, I can uh, take my notes and admire a Mega Drive at the same time. So yeah that's lovely. Um, there's some little slim things at the bottom here. Oh, yes, this is another one of my favourite games. Uh, we have got Lemmings, and it is a, uh, a Lemming door handle. Um, much like, you, well, not door handle, it's a door handle sign, like you have in hotels. Um, go away, I'm busy. And that's not related to the fact that I, uh, I bought the adult channels. Um, yeah, so we've got Level Complete, Enter, and we've got... Oh no! Entry! 
uh, which I'm guessing should be shortly followed by me popping. Um, so, yeah, not sure I'm going to use that side. I'm going to use this side and uh, let people enter. That's that's really good. I might actually put that on the toilet door, um, and that can replace the lock that broke five years ago. So yeah, that's a lovely little piece. Um, we have got the uh, the retro Z Box magazine. Oh, sorry, the Z Box magazine retro edition. Um, it's quite a nice little thing. This look, it's laid out like a comic book. Um, we've got the design there from on the box, um, and uh, inside we've got it's uh, quite nice quality paper. We've got features. So here's a lot of people unboxing, doing exactly what I'm doing, and fair play to them. Well done. Um, I've watched a few of these. There's some, uh, yeah, some really good videos out there. Um, Spilt Milk Studios. They are, uh, yeah, these guys. There we go. Um, what's in the box? Well, we know what's in the box already, so uh, we can we can skip that. Yeah, we've got the Hall of Fame. There we go. Pac-Man. Yep, great game. Sensible Soccer. Fantastic game. Outrun. Yep, absolute classic. In the arcades. Absolute must. Brilliant, brilliant arcade machine. Uh, number two, Super Mario Brothers. Didn't get a photo for some reason. Great game. Uh, but possibly Nintendo wouldn't allow it. Because I know they are quite protective of their uh, their IPs. Uh, but Day of the Tentacle, that is an absolute classic. If you've not played Day of the Tentacle, you absolutely must. Tim Schafer is a genius and this is a hilarious game. Chucky Egg. Um, yeah, we got, well regarded classic. I was never a big fan of Chucky Egg. I always preferred Manic Miner, but uh, I, and yeah, I get it. Paperboy. Absolute classic, absolutely loved it. Check out the Amstrad CPC version, my personal uh, personal favourite. Uh, and then we've got The Secret of Monkey Island, the single funniest game that has ever been created. And we have there at number 10, Super Mario Kart. Well, they allowed pictures of that. So, yeah, I uh, don't know why they didn't have Super Mario World. And Space Invaders, number 8 there, Space Invaders. Uh, I, it started it all, didn't it? Uh, we've got this beautiful Tetris word search in here. That's quite nice. Very nice little touch, that. We've got the battle, Mario versus Sonic. Well, obviously, it's it's Sonic. And then we've got some Guess the Game pictures, um, which I'll show you there. I won't spoil it by telling you which those are, um, because, quite frankly, I only know two of them. I recognise Dig Dug there in the corner, and I recognise uh, that is, uh, I believe, the original... Uh, Last Ninja on the Commodore 64. Um, that oh, I see it's on here, right? So that's Castlevania, and uh, that is Robot from. Oh no, so it's I Robot from 1930. I don't know that one. That's uh, that might have to be a future video, I think, future review. Um, how it all began? We've got Pong. We've got Intellivision. Uh, we've got the Atari 2600 VCS. Great game. Great system. Magnavox Odyssey, I never had one of these, but uh, I do keep looking out on eBay for them. Uh, the NES, of course, absolute classic system. Did you play any of these consoles? Yes, which was your favourite? Out of these, it's got to be the NES. Um, well, that's not very retro, it's uh, an advert for some Xbox controllers. Oh, coming next month, now that's exciting. I was only planning on getting this for one month, but I might have to bug my fiancé to let me have another month, because next month is animation. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And there is an advert for pop vinyl figures, but there is not a pop vinyl figure in the box this month. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a small piece of paper. Um, oh, here we are. We have got a code for a free download of Tango Fiesta. Never heard of it. Don't know what it is, but uh, it's my favourite kind of game, a free one. So yeah. That looks like it'll be fun. Uh, it's available on Steam. The 80s are back on PC and Mac, apparently. So yeah, there we go. That's good. Um, oh, look at this right now. I'm, I'll, I'll hold off on the T-shirt. I'll do the T-shirt live because that's always my favourite item. But under the bottom here, hello! You found my shop of strange and wonderful things. Lovely little, lovely touch there. Um, I do like it when they do something nice with the box. It, uh, it makes all the difference to it. I also get. The, uh, the My Geek box and uh, lovely stuff in the box is absolutely fantastic, but they never do anything with the box. Um, it's always just a blue cardboard box, so it's nice to have that little extra touch. Let's look at the t shirt. What do we have? We have, well, I can't see because I'm actually holding it in front of my own face. That, that was sensible. Uh, right, we've got uh, Joystick Junkies Arcade Machine Repairs, Maintenance and Service. 
Orange County CA, that's somewhere in America, California, I think. Probably, I don't know, I'm not an American. Um, USAEA cert, no idea what that is, established 1978. So, uh, yeah, I can pretend to be an, uh, an arcade repair individual. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I can make off with lots of expensive arcade machines. Uh, now my task, of course, is finding a proper retro arcade machine anywhere in the UK, which hasn't been replaced with a two-penny grab machine, and uh, that's going to be fun. So, that is this month's Z-Box, or Z-Box if you're an American. Um, yeah, overall, I think I'm really pleased with that. I think there's some lovely little bits in it. Um, this has occupied my entire evening. It's an absolute pain to put together, but when it is together, it's really nice. So, I think that is going to go up on my little ornament shelf there with uh, with other ornaments uh, which you probably can't see because it's out of shot but uh, never mind um, Mario socks yeah lovely uh, I've got myself a flump that's you know give me some sustenance while I'm building my little figurine free game you can never complain about a free game and uh, nice little magazine notepad to use and uh, yeah I'm very happy with the t-shirt so yeah overall I think 20 quid this cost me, including postage. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what I've got in there. I'm happy with it. So, yeah. Yeah, I'd thoroughly recommend the Z-Box. Brilliant, uh, brilliant little collection there. Until next time, though, I shall say goodbye, and thank you very much. Cheers, you two. Good night. So if you'd like to see more from me, then why not subscribe by clicking on my face here? Or if you'd like to see my last video, which was a review of Dizzy, Prince of the Oak Folk, then just click on Dizzy over here to my left. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye!